take it all Ain't no way I could break it off Girl, is you really down to pay the cost? Reverse the role that you can play the boss Already know I'm a, already know I'm a vision is faded Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Fusion here, back with another tutorial. And before I start this video, I am sorry if you guys couldn't download my first GFX pack. I was just not aware that you guys couldn't download it. I didn't know guys, I am sorry for that. But I will be putting a new link to that pack where you guys could actually download it. So I'm just trying to figure out what, how can I make it into another link, a different link other than Mediafire. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a nice 3D text on Android. So what you're going to need first is Pixel Lab. And once you are in Pixel Lab, you're going to see this type of screen. So first thing you're going to do is go to this little two paper bar thing, whatever. And you're going to put transparent. That's the first thing right off the bat. And you're going to click on the pencil on the top left. You're going to edit the new text. You're going to put your text. So for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put text. Well, the word I'm going to be spelling out is text. So you're going to want to put is like word by word. And you can put different fonts. And I will be doing different fonts. And some will be the same probably. So once you're going to do that, you're going to go on the A and click on the T and choose your fonts first. So I'm going to be choosing Plump. Well, you guys can download the... Uh, fonts I'm using on thefonts.com. I'm going to put it in the screen so you guys could see how it looks. So once you're going to once you click your font, you're going to click okay and you could just change the size of it. So I'm going to do it everything maxed out. So after that, you're going to go to the 3D text and click on oh no, the not rotate 3D text and click enable and you're going to want to click on your color. You want to change the color of your uh word. So you're going to go to color and what color I'm going to do is green. Uh, I'm going to do light green. So let me look for light green. Uh, sorry guys if I'm taking quite a while, but I'm going to do light green. All right, there you go. So after that, you're going to go to 3D again, 3D text, and you're going to go down to color. You're going to want to make the inner color, the 3D color more darker. So I clicked on it already. And after that, you're going to go to... You're going to go to, let me, all right, guys, after that, you're going to go to emboss and you're going to enable it. You're going to go to 355. I'm sorry for the little cut right there, but you're going to go to 355 and the intensity, I'm going to put it as 40, not going to be that high, but 40 is good. And for the bevel, you, I'm going to put it like all the way maxed. And after that, you're going to click OK. So after you're done with your text, you're going to want to rotate it. So what I'm going to do is going to be for X, I'm going to do 15. Okay, that's too much right there. All right, 15 right there. And for the Y, I'm going to do negative 5. I think that's pretty good right there. And after you made your first text, you're going to want to go all the way to over here and put copy. So you're going to see another T and you're going to edit that. You're going to go to the pencil bar and I'm going to pick a E well, for text. And the font already looks kind of dumb, so I'm going to change the font. You could always change the font, or if it looks pretty clean for you, you could just keep the font and make it uh, resize it. So I'm going to be choosing Space Comics as the font, and yeah, it still looks weird, I know. But I'm just going to resize it to make make it look really cool. And that's the point of this, uh, that's the point of make, how to make your 3D text look cool. You just got to like resize it and stuff, so I'm going to... So resize it a little bit smaller than the actual T and rotate it to the different side. So right here is at 15. I'm gonna do negative 15 this side. I'm gonna. Uh, the point is to here is to change each direction. So it's negative five right now. I'm gonna go to five. All right. As you guys can see right there, it looks a little bit different to the T. And once you finish with that, you could uh, you could adjust your words together. I always put them together and right there, oh no, I moved it a little bit right there. All right, right there is pretty good. And once you're done with your second word, you could just go two back and that looks pretty uh, nice right there. Oh, and I forgot guys, you could, uh, you could change the color you want. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna do two colors instead. So I'm gonna make this one white and the 3D, the 3D one look, already looks good, I guess, but I'm gonna change it anyway to gray. Or you know what, I'm gonna change it to black. Yeah, no wait, yeah, gray. I'm just gonna change it to gray, whatever. All right, after you're done with that, you're going to go to the T again, and you're going to go to copy, and you could just change your text again. So I'm going to I'm gonna go to edit, and I'll put an X, 
And I think this this X looks already good, so I'm just gonna keep the X. I'm just gonna resize it to a different size. So change the size a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make it like uh, the same as the E, I guess. So I'm gonna right there is good. I yeah, right there is good. Now I'm gonna make it bigger since I'm gonna put it under the E. So right there is good. Or all right, there you go. So I'm gonna put it together and I'm gonna move it to back like that. And all I'm, all I'm gonna do is just change the E again. I'm just gonna copy the E and go to copy. And you guys can see it's another E, but I'm just gonna change it to another T. And I'm gonna change it to the different font, which is plump again. So this is basically an easy way to do a 3D text tutorial. And I'm gonna be showing you an example of how I did it in my channel. I mean, my uh, in my overlay on Clash Royale on my Clash Royale channel. If you guys want to check it out, it's in, uh, I'll just probably link it in the description. So you could always change the X axis and the Y axis if you always want to, it's up to you guys. All right, so I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna change it a little bit like that. I'm gonna do 20 instead. So I think that's good enough. So I'm just gonna change the size to, all right, it's already at the biggest size, but I'm just gonna adjust it to the back of the X like that. And I'm gonna move it like that more to the left. So all you're gonna have to do is move every single word to the back. Cause if it's in the front, everyone is in the front, it just looks ugly. So it's just gonna go to the back and look, it already looks pretty cool guys. Let me know in the description, I mean in the comment section below guys, I'm sorry, I have, I'm just uh, not my day today, I guess. But yeah, guys, this text looks really nice already, and you could just have to, like, basically copy the words and stuff. So yeah, guys, let me know if you guys want a specific tutorial with, like, the effects and all that stuff on the text. Let me know in the comment section below. I will be dropping the Clash Royale GFX pack, but this time, I'm, I am going to make sure that you guys could download it in the link. So yeah, guys, it's been your boy Fusion here with the 3D text tutorial. Let me know if you guys want a better one or... I don't know, yeah, guys, with a better one with actual effects and stuff. So let me know, guys, in the comment section below. It has been your boy Fusion, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a like for more tutorials. And it's been your boy Fusion, guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace.